Hi guys, so I want to show you how to add a user group to the sudo group. Um, to do this, it's very simple, but you must attempt this with utmost care because what I'm about to do, if you do something wrong, it's almost irreversible. I would say it's actually irreversible because it could break the entire system. You might not even be able to log in anymore. And I do not have a solution on how to reverse it, except to just create a new virtual machine. So the first thing we'll do is let me create a sample user group. So to create a user group, and I would execute all of this, I would execute all of this as the root user. So I'll do sudo su. This would allow me to switch to the root user on this VM. Then the next thing is to add the user group. So group add. Um, I could call this group. Um, um, let me call this maintenance. So I've created a group or user group called maintenance. The next thing I want to do now is to edit a particular file. Now this particular file when I edit that file, I will add this user group maintenance to that file. Now, this is a file I want you to be careful when you're editing. You have to pay attention. Do not make any syntax errors. If you do, you could crush the entire system and there might not be a way to reverse the mistake except for you to start afresh. Create a new virtual machine and just do everything afresh. So you need to be mindful, especially when you're copying and pasting commands or whenever you, you just type in stop and you make typographical errors. So be careful when doing this. Now for you to edit the file, you're going to do vi sudo, then etc slash sudoers. So the file we're actually editing is a file called sudoers. And you can see if that file is on the system by doing cat etc. Or rather, you go into the directory called etc. And then you list the files on and folders in that etc folder. So there is a file called sudoers. And this is a file we're going to edit. So you do vi sudo and then etc and sudoers. So once you do this, it opens up this file. Now just go straight to the bottom, maybe leave another line. Um, I would have just added it to this line here where, the, where you have this admin user. Now you can see that this, um, or rather user group. So admin here is a user group. So this admin that you have here, as you would see, already has pseudo privileges. So there's a chance that on your own system, when you open up the sudo as file, this admin would already be here. Now, the difference between all of this is root here is a user. Admin is a user group. Sudo is a user group. So user groups start with the percentage sign or percentage symbol. All user groups start with percentage sign. So you can just go straight to the bottom and then now I'll just add a comment for future use. So I'll say uh, custom user groups. So I could do something like this. The reason I am doing this is in the future, if I come back to this file, I know that I created custom user groups and I added them to this sudo as file. So that's why I'm leaving this comment, not just for me, but for anybody who also comes and is editing the same virtual machine and they're trying to do something, they would see that I added those user groups to the sudo as file. You can also add user users directly in the sudo as file, but I wouldn't recommend that. Even this that we're doing, I wouldn't recommend it, but this is a, an extreme case, an edge case. If you really have to do this, if you really have to add a user group, to the pseudo group 
ideally what you should be doing is adding users to the pseudo group and not adding user groups to the pseudo group but it is also possible so i've added the comments and then i'll just go to the next line start with a percentage sign because i'm adding a user group not a user so it must start with a percentage sign so i've written percentage maintenance and then um i just hit the tab key on my keyboard so you hit the tab key so it will leave four spaces you can also use a space bar it doesn't matter but you can use the tab key then you type in all that means all rights all rights so give everybody in that group every user in that group all rights to do everything that's pseudo rights basically um, so this is the syntax that you would use this is how you'd write it out if you had another group again you would just go to the next line you say percentage uh, support you see all is equal to open um, the parenthesis and they say all all then you leave a space and you type all so this is how you would do it so once you're done doing this now we want to save the file you press control o not control zero control o as you would see at the bottom here you have a bunch of commands so this up arrow just means press control or if you're using a mac command so you press control o which means to write out control o and then you press enter so you see it's asking here if you want to write the changes to this file name so you would say control o um, control o will bring up this prompt and then you press enter to accept or to write the file so once you press enter then now we leave this file be careful like again I'll, i cannot stress this more than enough do not make any syntax errors in this sudo as file you will mess up your system irreversibly so please be careful now to exit this file you press ctrl x as you would see at the bottom here it says ctrl x to exit so ctrl x and we're out now you can see the changes you have made you can just cut the file so you cut etc sudoers so now you see we have added the user group maintenance with the necessary permissions so this user group has the same rights as the pseudo group so this is how you add a user group to the pseudo group or grant them pseudo privileges grant every user within the group pseudo privileges you can also grant specific users um, pseudo privileges directly in this file but i wouldn't recommend you to do that so please be careful when you're editing the sudoers file do not make any syntax errors or you will mess up your system